Just get your shit together, big home. Alright. Welcome back to the Stupid Rapper Show. I am Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men 2 movement. And this is Are You Fucking Serious? This will be a Big Facts podcast and a Stupid Rapper Show collaboration. Uh, I We're dealing with a Stupid Rapper, but I uh, it's going to be a Big Facts situation because I need to walk you through this shit step by step. I need to be able to pause it and you be with me. So we're going to use, we're, gonna, we're over here on a beautiful Stupid Rapper set so I can really give it to you how you need it. Um, I'm going to put it down like this. Um... Bad Baby, uh, she supposedly got all social media uh, and, and vowed not to get back on uh, because of motherfuckers hating. Uh, she she said, uh, when I get a wig, and I think I get a cute wig, and I, and I don't know what the fuck a cute wig is, I'm going to be honest. A cute wig. Motherfuckers are teenagers. And talking about wigs. That's that's another video though, because I am going to do a video on a comment I saw under um, a, a, a barbershop a video where where a dude was showing uh, other barbers how to install one of those hair pieces that nigga that's going bald. How they get that that you know the the waves and shit like that. That piece of hair they put they glue it to your head and shit like that and make that shit look live as fuck. Uh, Nothing ass bitch that had weave on in her profile picture said, What kind of nigga would do this? I gotta do the video, my nigga. I have to. Um, but she said, uh, 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 anytime I get a cute wig and uh, I want to uh, show everybody, uh, I get, I get called out for uh, trying to act black. Even though the wig is, even though it's a blonde wig, a straight blonde wig. And I'm like, damn, that bitch had a point there. Motherfucker had a point there. Gotta give it to him. How the fuck is she trying to act black when it's a straight blonde wig? Straight hair and it's blonde. Are you, are you that fucking delude? Are you serious? Dog, it makes me mad. What do you want me to do? I, I, I'm, I'm a hermit. I've, I've disavowed. What is that word? When you, um, y'all tell me in the comment section. A word starts with a D. Is is this? I've disen. I have blinked from society. It starts with a D. Meaning that I've left society. You can do it. You, I, he uh, dissing whatever from the military. He dissing from the Aryan Brotherhood. Dissing whatever from uh, uh, you know whatever. It's well, y'all tell me the word. But um, uh, and and you know um, we have been doing the um, um shout out for you know. You know today's um, highlighted comment. So uh, make sure you comment. Make sure you like the video. Um, we're moving the Stupid Rappers channel up. We want the Stupid Rappers channel, the Rap Trap channel, and the uh, uh, Tactical Operations channel to get up there with the Big Facts podcast. So go to all the channels, subscribe, and make sure before you do anything on anything, like the videos. We're trying to get. You know, they already fucked the Big Face Podcast. They got down the blacklist. They fucked it. We're trying to get these channels shot up in the algorithm. So you have to like it. When you like the video, it shoots them shits up. So we're trying to... It, fuck with me. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I need you to do this. Like the video. Um, what else you supposed to do? Share the shit on your social media. Share the shit on your social media. Start sharing these videos on your social media. We got some shit going on. I'm going to tell y'all about that shit. Go to the Patreon. And that's what I'm going to tell y'all about what's really going on. Um, But 
I was gonna say the nigga uh, highlighting comments and shit like that. Um, shout out to my nigga Sweet Jones um, for the love and the PayPal. Um, I salute you, my nigga. Um, I would read the comment, but he said, "Shout out to you, my nigga." Look, when y'all, I'm gonna start. Whenever y'all go to the PayPal or the Cash App, whenever y'all show that love, I'm gonna start shouting y'all out because. Because of what they doing with the Big Facts Podcast channel, like the shit that y'all doing in the Cash App and the PayPal, that shit is really how this shit is staying afloat. You know what I'm saying? The Rap Trap channel and the, and the stu uh, Stupid Rappers channel, they doing their thing, whatever like that. But the Big Facts Podcast, they didn't cut that bitch in half, damn near. So when y'all show that type of love to keep the shit moving, it really means something. So I'm gonna definitely start shouting y'all out within the videos, like, you know what I'm saying, at the beginning of the video, whatever, like, shout you out, if you want me to read your message, you know what I'm saying, let me know, if you don't want to be shouted out, you know, make sure you say it in your, uh, comment, whatever like that, but I gotta show the people love, uh, my 300 is keeping this shit moving, so I have to salute y'all, um, but, She said she was leaving. And now this is her coming back to social media. And this is how she comes back. She comes back and makes this video. This video is to her father. Uh, her real father uh, made a post to some shit like that, which is weird as fuck. Uh, he made a post to whoever the judge was that granted her mother full custody. Um... And just, you know, so that's not important. This is her response to him. And that's all that matters. Like, I, I want y'all to take the fact that she's famous out of it. Or uh, even take the fact that she's white out of the shit. I want y'all to see what is possible. When your child... is being fed information, hypnotized, brainwashed by nothing ass bitch. If, let, let's just, look. But that to say, oh, my, your, your brothers want to see you. Bitch, you ain't telling, I ain't, you ain't even telling them kids about me until I got famous. And then they wanted to know why we had the same last name. Like, come on, stop that shit. You ain't telling them kids about me ever. I, I always knew I had two brothers. They ain't know they had no fucking sister. Fuck out of here. Stupid ass bitch. Like, what the fuck y'all got? Y'all people are retarded, bro. Y'all people are real life retarded. I just, I, anything, listen. Ira, Stephanie, Isaac, Alon, I wish y'all the best fucking life, but stay the fuck away from me and my business, bro. I don't care about y'all. Y'all was never in my life. I don't got nothing towards them little kids, but listen, if they gonna be here and brainwashed and hear the same bullshit that Stephanie and Ira got to say about me, then man, fuck them kids too. You know what, dog? I really hate that we, our women, are the owners of this attitude. When she, when she, this whole thing, how she's going off, this is her acting like a black girl. That is what it is, my nigga. That ain't her ass, that nigga. It's what the fuck it is. No, I don't want. I don't give a fuck about the technical. I don't give a fuck. And I mean, down to a T. When you argue with a black nothing ass bitch, African American nothing ass bitch, this is how she talk, and this is how unself aware she is. This is how little self awareness she has. So I'm uh, I'm guessing that uh, the father's wife is called her name is Stephanie or some shit like that, and she's saying that um, if the little kids are brainwashed the way Stephanie and whoever the fuck has them brainwashed, then fuck y'all. 
as retarded as, as this is, this is your daughter. This is years and years of her being taught by this nothing ass bitch that you fucked a couple times. But she had in her mind that you my, you mine. The same attitude she has. The same way she'll raise her child from NBA Youngboy or NLE Chopper. She'll raise him the same way. And her daughter will be just as fucking wild as she was. Not respect. Actually, it'll probably be a little bit different. It'll probably be a little bit different. Let's listen to some more. I don't give a fuck. How the fuck am I supposed to care about? How am I supposed to care about people that ain't even gonna fuck about me? This man got married the day after my first birthday. He was not there for my first birthday. This man was getting fucking married to a stripper. Did he want? See, um. This is this is one of the biggest reasons why I tell y'all follow the three S's. <clears throat> Me, you you talk like that around me, let alone to me, I'm gonna be looking to go oh I'm I'm trying to get the fuck out of there. And if you come towards me with that. Now I'm going to feel threatened. I can't take too much of that high-pitched. It's insanity. Like, you're you're a crazy person. You have to be insane. You have to be insane to be talking like that. The shrill voice, let me get out of here. And if you uh, restrict me from leaving, then I'm going to be looking to do something. Because... Right with that type of voice, I'm about to do something. I'm trying to get the fuck away from that shit, and that's what you're gonna be dealing with when you're down here at this level. You don't have your shit together, and you call yourself dating the motherfucker that you're gonna find while you're down here trying to figure it out is not gonna be the motherfucker that um that's not gonna be your life partner. It's just gonna be somebody that you're gonna learn to hate. You're just gonna it's just gonna be an enemy because you don't have your shit together. You're not who you're going to be. You're still in transition. When you meet her, she's going to expect you to stay that person. She doesn't wanna see you go to the next level, and it's the same way. A nigga. Doesn't want to see you go to the next level because they're trying to keep you. And they feel like if they have any competition, it's going to fuck up the relationship. So they will sabotage your dream. I've seen, dog, in Mobile, females get killed for trying to leave their niggas. Please don't think this shit only works one way. What that was last year, year four last, they had a fucking spree of like, in a, in a week's time, four females got killed. It's serious. You should not be dating while in transition. If you plan on just being a down home, just gonna work my job and just, you know, get my pension and, you know, be with my family, and that's that what you want? All good. But if you're actually trying to be your own boss, that's the only people I'm talking to. I'm not talking to the people who are good with, you know, just, hey. If you got the SpongeBob mentality, then, you know, you know, when you, you, you happy as fuck to be a fry cook. I'm talking about the dreamers, the people with ambition. That's what the three S's is for. Drop the dope, drop the weed, drop the club, and drop giving away what you need to think. When you ejaculate, you lose something. And I believe that is the will to succeed. I believe if you keep that in, like, you know, I'm gonna say, then nigga strong, then nigga cock strong, then you need to bust a nut. I, I, that's just me. And I, I mean, it's just the proof's in the pudding. 
I was another person four years ago. But that's the first thing. That 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 voice and shit, I bitch, we gonna have an issue. Secondly, um, how to a stripper? What's wrong with a stripper? See, this this is this is my biggest issue with nothing ass bitches um, and nothing ass niggas. Nothing ass niggas are dangerous, just as dangerous as like, it might be more dangerous. If a nigga ain't got no understanding, that nigga, you know, you'll be murdered. Um, really, that, that 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 that's a. But I ain't that nigga ain't got no way to get in. That's what I'm saying. In, in in your life, a nigga don't got no way to get in. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck am I be around a nigga for? It's the female that can sneak in. Um, but the hypocrisy in it. To a stripper, he got married the day oh the day after. How the fuck do you know that? I was one year on my. You wasn't even there. You remember your first birthday? No, your mother told you that. Your mother was hurt. She remembered his wedding more than she uh, uh, more than she remembered your first birthday. She remembers the hurt more than she remembers the the the, the um the glory the 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 celebration. Fuck this birthday party, my fucking. This motherfucker and ran off on me. Like I said, don't don't take in consideration their situation, but your situation, your baby mama. You know how mad is she gonna be? It don't matter who the fuck. Like she got your child, the child that was supposed to make you stay. Now you went and got a bitch way better than her, the stripper, and now you didn't marry her. You didn't tell her you got married. You in a whole nother place. This motherfucker didn't found out. And she gonna find, like she gonna track your movements. Because she wanna tell them folks, like she's trying to make you miserable. So now, this nothing ass bitch can't wait till the child gets old enough to talk to her. And even before she can understand what um, the mother is saying the mother is giving her energy, the hate for him, the hate for him, the hate for him, the hate, just the hate. Oh, just and she's just putting it into her. That's what she's feeding the child. She's feeding the child hate for this man, hate for your father, hate for your father, hate for your father. And what's crazy is this is the reason why she was on the Maury show. Uh, the mama had to take her to the Maury show because she was so, or more whatever show it was, because she was so, uh, Montel, whatever the fuck, she was so out of control with anger and rage that she had to go on TV to, to try to fix what the fuck was wrong with her. Where did she get that from? Now we find out. This is how she was created. It was hate. It was hate. She, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if she said this already, uh, b before this shit started, but, uh, she said, um, I was three months old when he left me. He left me at three months old. So from three months to her first birthday, he didn't already found a wife. So that's, he been with a girl for, what is that, nine months? He was with the girl probably longer than that. Probably longer than that. He was probably fucking her while he was fucking the mama. And that's why the mama brought the child forth to show the stripper, hey, bitch, you know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, I, I really, bitch, you think he don't want me because I ain't fine as you? Bitch, I'm pregnant by him and all. You, 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 like, you know how this shit goes. You putting all this hate into this child. You just fuming. You crying. You just. He is the cause of your pain. You talking this shit about him to your friends on the phone while you holding, you know, 
the child, while she's holding your daughter, she's talking to her friends, her mama, her everybody about you. Huh. And then, and then, you know, this is what's going on with your child right now. Your child three years old. And you wonder why, you know, when the child, eh, child eh, she don't want to leave the mama. Ah, as, soon, as soon as you try to touch her, she go cry. Ah! She could be at home showing the picture of you and just whenever, whenever it's time for her to get a whooping, she showed the picture of you and just whoop her ass. That's what type of, instead of teaching her her one, two, threes, ABCs, I'm teaching you how to hate your fucking father. This is the danger, the reality, and the nightmare of moving forward with bringing forth life with a nothing ass bitch. You're going to wait until you get her pregnant to realize she's a nothing ass bitch. I made a list for you. How to identify a nothing ass bitch on the Patreon. Get to the Patreon. You niggas hitting me up behind the scenes, crying and whining, man, yeah, man damn, bro, I should listen to you, bro. Man, it be, man, I, I, I was hearing you talking, bro, but I just, you know, I thought she was different, bro. She would watch the show with me, bro. She was the watch the show with me, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, she she, she wear that weave and that makeup and shit like that, but she, other than that, bro, she got down, she was just, you know what I'm saying? She she watched that, you know, love and hip-hop when I realized, you know, she ain't really had nothing on her mind, you know what I'm saying? She wasn't really, you know, trying to build that, but she, you know, she was cool though, bro, you know what I'm saying? And then she, you know, as soon as she, I get her pregnant, bro, she just started changing, bro, like, on some, you know what I'm saying? Like, not just, like, so, like, she changing, like, her, her mood is different. Yeah, her mood, like, she got this attitude, bro. She just come at nigga crazy, bro. Like, like, okay, so, like, you know, she have a morning sickness, so she probably just a little irritated because of the pressure. Nah, bro, like, nah, she saying shit. She ain't nothing said for, bro. Like, she trying, like, she gonna put me on child support, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, what I'm supposed to do for you, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like, my nigga, she likes to watch this show when she watches this she acts like this there is no reason why a person that wants something out of life that wants something out of life should like drama this much to where i told you it's the adult door the explorer it's the adult version of uh Whatever the fuck, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna say door because you put door on and, and kids just they just their mind is there like you they can be playing a crime whatever the fuck you turn door on and they'll just stop and watch dog I'm telling you I've done this shit bitch will be talking and all be on me and shit like that like bitch I gotta move around like ho you trying to cuddle and shit like that nigga I fucking turn on goddamn loving hip hop this bitch will sit up. I go in the goddamn kitchen and get some fucking, you know, pineapple uh, fucking strips and put that shit on the fucking bed. And, and she'll just eat that shit up and be looking at that shit. Then you take the keys and ride the fuck out of hand of your business. See, niggas ain't trying to listen. Niggas ain't trying to listen, dog. I need to go and get out of here, man. Niggas ain't listening, dog. Let me make sure this shit's still recording. Yeah, my nigga. Um, but, you know... Furthermore, what I want to talk about even further on that shit, dog. All right, so to a stripper, what in the fuck is wrong? Are you serious, bitch? You bitches idolize strippers. All you hoes want to be strippers. Now it's like you surprised that a man left a woman for a stripper. Do you, do y'all, like, my brother, he just hate the, like, I hate what? What do I hate? You motherfuckers switch every two fucking minutes. In this conversation, nigga, uh, you gangster gangster, and that's what the fuck it is. In this fucking song, uh, we gotta put the gun down and live. Uh, put the gun down and we live. In this song, nigga, it's gangster, nigga, we kill rats. 
Nigga, in this song, you talking about why the fuck you was on fucking uh, Crime Stoppers. The fuck is going on, nigga? In this song, bitch, you telling nigga how much you got to pay the fuck. In this song, you, you talking some women, we have rights. We don't have to, we respect ourselves. Women, we have rights. We got to respect ourselves. How am I supposed to know what the fuck is going on here? In this video, you teaching a bitch how to get money out of a trick. And in this video, you talking about some niggas, niggas coming wrong and, and, and ain't no reason for a man to ask a woman how much it costs. Like, what kind of man are you? And the motherfuckers that's interviewing them be like, yeah, that's wrong, that's wrong. Yeah, who the fuck would do that? And I'm thrown off because I'm, I'm confused. And I'm asking, what the fuck? Are you fucking serious? I'm, uh, he, he a basher. Are you serious? Man, come on, man. So, I, I'm, I'm thrown off about that. But, yeah, so, uh, that, that's what that is. You know, the mother is feeding that hate to her, um, that evil to her, and then... And this is a lot of mothers. A lot of you are, you know, you're putting this into your your, your child. You're putting this into your sons and your daughters. You're, you're telling them, you know, how horrible your father is. And you're putting all this this, this negative energy in. you cussing around uh, her. And you're cussing around him. you just, you know, just all this negativity. Ah, rah, 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 rah. And now you fucking confused because when the child turned 13, she out of control. She can't be stopped. She got a mean streak in her. I don't know where that come from. What? What? Do as I say, not as I do. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So the only thing that you're showing this child, a child is like a fucking sponge. They're not just soaking up, you know, okay, what's your name? Say your name and do that little dance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Pinky. I can bring your ass on. Pinky, come on. Come on. Bitch. Come on. Yeah, yeah. You make a loopy loop in pool, and all your shoes are looking cool. Get out, move. You think they just supposed to remember they 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 name and they 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 like no? They're looking at you when you're not talking to them. They're looking at how you handle certain certain situations and how you handle certain people. This is how they become just like you. I don't know how she got my way. She, I don't know. She's around you. And what you don't tell her and what you don't show her, she absorbs it spiritually. Your energy is just being... Um, ingested by this. It. She's just... This is all she knows. The apple not falling far from the tree is not just, it's not a, come on, man. Like, this this is all that you know. This is all that you fucking know.
My nigga. I'm, I'm telling you, dog. At this fucking point, if you can't see two seconds into the future, as far as right now, you're dealing with a one of your holes, just one of the side holes and shit like that. Like, you're not understanding that there's going to come a time when you bust in her, she going to keep the child. You're not going to start respecting her more. What's, what's going to happen is, because another ass bitch believes me having this child means that you have to listen to me. That's what a nothing ass bitch believes. Me having this child puts me, oh, makes me your boss. That's it. It makes me your boss. And if you don't do what I say, I now legally can go and make them, I'll make the police make you do what I say do. So you better do what I say do. If you put yourself in that situation, my nigga, if you are free and clear right now, no kids, you're a free man. No one has nothing over you. First, I'll tell you, like, nigga, if you in the street, get the fuck out. Because you don't do no crimes. Ain't no bitch got you in no courthouse to where that... My nigga, you are a fucking free man. And that's why I'm working to get my fucking shit together as far as with my uh, feeling on my record so that I can get my fucking rights back. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be a totally free man. But if you put yourself in this fucking position to where you're not going to do what the bitch say do, my nigga. You're not going to do it. So that's conflict right there. She gonna say you need to come over here. Why you can't come over here? Why you why why you why you you must be out there chasing them hoes? Like okay yeah oh yeah I am actually okay so you don't want to take care of your responsibilities. You you mean the responsibilities that I didn't want? The resp like you're talking you you can't be talking about you 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 can't be talking about the child that I told you to abort. The child that you agreed that you would never have. The child that... You can't afford. The child that you had as a tool to control me. You you know I understand. Like, you do know that I know that, right? Like, so... What... The response... So you think that... Now, because you have a child... Because you stole my fucking child. Because you stole my sperm. To to do that with it. I gave it to you in the midst of fucking. I didn't like bitch. You know I didn't want no child with you. Why in the fuck would you bring forth life. When you know I didn't want a child with you. But it's your fault my nigga. Because this is a nothing ass bitch. She don't have no fucking future. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't, you don't, you wouldn't catch Janelle Monae. Um, who else? Um, um, a boss motherfucker. Uh, Sanaa Latham. Um, T uh, Taraji. Um, what's my other girl name? The the bitch from Scream. I like this hoe. Uh, we we talked about her on the, on the show. Um. But a, a bitch that's on her, like, that's really about her business, that's really trying to go, Rihanna, that's really, like, I'm a boss before everything. When my child get here, they're going to have, it's going to be late. I'm going to take off from work. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do shit else but be a mother. Like, that's sexy in itself. You're not dealing with that kind of bitch. You're dealing with a bitch who either want a, a, a child to... Be her friend because she's that fucked up of a person. Nobody want to be her friend. Or a bitch who that's the only way she know to make a man stay around. Because her mother taught her from 
the beginning that the way you keep a man, the bitch ain't even tell her the fastest way to a man fucking hard is through his stomach. She need to teach the bitch how to cook, clean shit. She told her, like, <laughs> and it and it's disgusting, my nigga. Like, you started, you started teaching your daughter about being sexy at ten years old. At ten years old, you began telling her about the power of your pussy. And how it's gonna get you everything that you ever wanted. <laughs> um, that that's 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 where it's at, dog. That, that's where it's at. And and now she's she coming at you crazy. Um, so of course you're not gonna deal with the shit. So like, fuck you, bitch. I'll pay the child support payment. Just stay the fuck away from me. So you dip and she's still there trying to whatever, fuck your life up, all kind of shit, whatever, you move away, whatever. But now, years later, here this comes. Now, given, it probably won't happen like this for you as far as you reach out, um, whatever, for whatever reason, however he did it. But you might, you know what I'm saying? You know, throughout the child life, you're not just going to leave, leave, or you might. You might, my, like, I'm telling you to dip the fuck. If it's a nothing-ass bitch like that, and she really did you like that on that type of shit, nigga, dip. Fuck everything. Do not let her destroy your life. Don't, ain't, don't, ain't no fucking, I'm gonna stay together for the kid. No, if you can't just, hey, look, I'm gonna give you this, uh, every month, whatever, come see the child. She start making that shit difficult. You know, have niggas trying to fight you and shit like that. Call the police and say that you tried to assault her. That time, get the fuck away from her. Ain't no I had to do it with my child. No, get the fuck. You can make a like nigga. You can make a child on accident. Hopefully, you know, after time go by, you reach out and say, "Hey, I'm your father. Didn't work out with your mom. I wanted us to meet, whatever like that." If she hits you with this shit, keep pushing. Keep pushing. Do not let a motherfucker um, pity you into fucking your life up. If the child come over your house and then, you know, she come there and she just spying for the mother. It's like, okay, you know what? She steal from you. The mama try to drop off when she pregnant years later. Don't go for it, my nigga. Don't go for it. Don't let a motherfucker pity you into doing something that you know is not in your family's best interest. She did that. She got to make that right with that child. If she feel the need, if she, before she die on her deathbed, she get a revelation, which a lot of these nothing ass bitches never do. But if she get a revelation, say, look, your father's not a bad person. I told him. When we were younger, I told him that I would never have. I told him I couldn't have kids. I told him I was on the, the shot. I told him that I could. I would. I wouldn't get another child. So he was okay. That we didn't have to use condoms. And really, I just wanted him to be with me. I didn't know how to make him stay with me. So I figured a baby would make him stay. It's not his fault. I made it difficult at every turn. Every time he tried to get you, I would make it about me and him. Everything was always about me trying to get him to be with me. And I was using you as a pawn in my game of love. That's the truth. And, you know, I really hope that I remember to put this clip in where... Uh, Anaya or what for uh, Anaya fixed my life. It was the I referenced this before. The uh, the woman who the woman the mother old mother this bitch sixty years old on this motherfucker. Uh, she on there and the father sitting across from her um, and they got three daughters and right there on on the pool and Ayana's like we did it the um, polygraph and when it comes to Asking you, did you lie about your husband, your ex-husband, molesting y'all's three daughters? Was that a lie? It, it came up true that you did lie. That was a lie. 
and it was just like, oh my God. And they were 25 years old at this time. So for 20 years, these girls had grew up believing that their father had molested them. He was a monster. She spread this word around the town. Everybody in the town thought that. Imagine that in your neighborhood, in your city. Now you go on this show and you figure out, you know the whole time that you ain't like, bitch, you can't be that evil. You cannot be that fucking evil. Do you know what this bitch said? I gotta put it in here. I gotta put it in here. Y'all gotta see that. Y'all gotta see that. I'm gonna remember to put that in here. Let me see. I don't Today we're gonna clean up the infection. We're gonna tell the truth. Mr. Monzel. In your lie detector test, you were asked, did you have any sexual contact with any of your three daughters? You said no. And the lie detector said there was no deception. Yes, thank God. How does that feel for you? And that your daughters know it? Well, I felt they always did know it. You felt they always did know it? Mm -hmm. And didn't speak it because? They didn't know no better. They was told no different. Miss Yvonne took a lie detector test and said, did you make up or exaggerate any stories with the intention to harm Monzel? She responded, no, and the answer was deceptive. Then he asked you, did you say something to the effect of, I'm gonna make sure you're never happy again? She responded, no, and the answer was deceptive. So, Miss Yvonne has acknowledged that her story about you touching your children in a sexual way was not true. So, Miss Yvonne, is there anything that you wanted to say to Mr. Monzel? Why didn't you fight for him harder if you knew you Excuse didn't me. do it? And what is it that he could have said hmm. that would have made you not believe the lie you were telling? Miss Yvonne, you told the lie. It was a lie, and you told it. And you gotta own it. I'm sorry. I need you to say that you did not rape your girls. I need to hear it come out your mouth the way I've always heard it, Ma. I apologize for accusing you of raping them. Please forgive me. You don't have to forgive her. You don't have to. I cannot accept your apology because it's not sincere. Deep down, I know that you know that you didn't believe that. You knew I had no sexual desires for my children. For 25 years, this thing has broken me. You don't know. It has affected my life in ways I can't even count. The things that you did. This is not no game. This is these children's lives. And it's just a demon in you that you need to deal with. You see what I'm saying, dog? Dog, and I, I would hate for a motherfucker to try to downplay what I'm talking about and what I'm doing with my movements. And I, I needed, if you use the word bash, you're gonna be blocked. If I was here lying, then that would be what that is. What I'm bringing to you is the realest of the real. My nigga, there is a subsect of women, or they're not even women. They disguise, they're like reptilians. They disguise themselves like they're women, but really they're nothing ass bitches. Women don't do this type of shit. They 
these are the motherfuckers that use their children as umbrellas as they walk through the rain because they just got their hair did. They got a new weaving. Let me stop because I'm, I feel myself going somewhere. Let's 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 finish this. What? Come on! This man, this man got some real life fucking problems, bro. This man needs to seek help. Bro. I want a restraining order against him. Like I, I hate this man so much. I swear to God, I would, I would run him over if I seen him. Like I, I would, I would dog this man like he was a female if I seen him. I hate him. I, I wish this man would fucking die. I never wish death on nobody, but I swear to God, I mean it when I say it. I wish this man would fucking die. Easy. All right, for one, that that's like. That's the that's what that's what Insta, that's what Instagram fame does for you. Like it gets you, it makes you over. Like bitch, you don't. First of all, you don't feel like that for real. You just saying this shit for attention, for one. Um, trying to make folks take you serious, and you don't like. I would dog him like he was a female. What? Like, like, see y'all, y'all, like, that's another thing, man. When, a, uh, a, another good way to identify, and I, I need to do, how do I identify a nothing ass bitch by her lingo? If a bitch, if a woman, because she's a woman before proven otherwise, if a woman, if she calls her homegirls, bruh, if she talks like a dude, you dealing with a fucking nap, bruh. You're, you're trying to suck my dick. That type, like, are you, what? Um, obviously we know what the fuck it means. It's, it's derogatory, but it's just like, you don't have something that you can say yourself, like, you're that those are the type of bitches that any 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 because you are nothing as bitch if you say suck my dick. But uh, the nothing as bitches that because all nothing as bitches pussy don't stink. Um, any nothing as bitch that say suck my dick, her pussy probably stink. I would dog you like you was a female. Like what? I'm I'm com A dude says that to a girl But in the other way like I would I do your ass like a man. I beat your ass up like you was a dude. Because that means I'm not going to take no pity on you. If I do you like you a female, that means I'm going to take... There has, uh, has to be a comparison there. Like, In order for it to say I do you like you as a female, that means that if I did you like you as a dude, that means I'll take it easy on you. The reason why a dude can say I beat you up, bitch, like you as a dude, because if I treat you like a female, I go easy on you. Female saying I do you like you as a female would... How would you do me if you was a dude? How how would you do me like I was? Uh, that, that's see, that, that's what I'm saying. I'm I'm too, I'm I'm too. Look, I I, I listen. I listen to words. You know what I'm saying. I want the, a person to do the same thing to me. Like as any as Katrina, as Katrina, if I ain't the grandma police. Like I I do that shit. So I, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. My mom, my mom do shit. I add her, add her head sometimes. Like, no, okay, Barbie, you straight? Like, what you doing? No, but still, like, she, she at least has good intentions. At least this kid has. I mean, at least my mom has good intentions. My dad don't got no fucking good intentions. How in the fuck would you know that, you stupid bitch? Do you know what intentions mean? 
My mama smoke crack, but at least she uh, He smoke crack, but he's a, He don't even act it. And that's what happens. That's what happens when the mother has successfully hypnotized your child. She could do the exact same thing or worse than what you did. But she good because whatever. What? So now I'm telling you, when it gets to this point, 16 years old, my nigga, hey, look, holler at me when, you know, I'll be here. I'm getting the fuck, I'm getting the fuck. Good, good. Like, come on, this man never, never wanted nothing to do with me, ever. I didn't know I had a dad. I didn't know about none of that too. Till I was probably like five, six. I think I asked her when I was. I think I asked her like in pre. No, maybe like four, or five. When I started asking her, because how in the fuck is that his fault? That that's when you started asking. Wouldn't that be on her? I didn't know I had a dad at that ain't know. What are you talking about? You mean she didn't tell you until did that, and that's what I'm telling you. When it gets to this point, the best thing for you to do is a a look. Holler at me when you get grown enough to have logic. I hate that she's contaminated your mind like that, but there's nothing I can do with that shit. When you say that it's my fault because she Brought it to your attention. She didn't bring it to your attention till a certain point in time. That's my fault. It's my fault that she didn't find it important for you to know who your father was. So if you don't ask, I won't tell. Which, you know, I... No, I, I, I'm not going to be one side. Look, all right, hey, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it and shit like that. So no, no big deal. You a child, hey, you know, I can tell you that you have a father. Here goes picture, or I, I don't have to because I, maybe it's like we're, we're dealing with other issues and that's not nothing. We'll deal with that when we get there. I can see that, but he didn't. You don't, and I, you know what, can't even, like, this is, this is a creation. This is Frankenstein, or Frankenstein's monster. Um, she's a parrot. She's just given what she's been given. She's giving you what she's been given. Like, You try, this is what you got. Move the fuck on, man. Move the fuck on. You're not going to turn that, especially with the fame she got now. You're not going to turn that into nothing, nigga. Just go about your way. And I'm not talking to her father because he might really be on some whatever the fuck type shit. But I'm talking to you as a father. You know... When it come down to it and, and you were spiritually in her life because you didn't want to be with the fucking mama. And the mama was hard to fucking deal with. Obviously my friends had dads. And you know, obviously she didn't want to just say, oh yeah, your dad's out of your life. Like, so she never said nothing about him. He didn't want to see me, so she didn't have no reason to tell me about him. How in the fuck do you know that? <laughs> and, and and but I want the mothers. I want y'all to watch this. Look, look at look at how a child interprets your omission. Because you didn't tell the child, hey, I did something bad. 
um, there was this guy, you know, um, really, really hot guy. And I wanted to be with him so bad. And uh, I finally got my chance. Um, and you, as you can see, I'm not, you know, just a hottie. So I knew that I wasn't, you know, he, he gets so many girls. I knew that I would just be another girl on his list. And I wanted to be more than that. So I, I did something. One night, um, when I knew I was going to meet him, I went to the store and I got a condom and I took the safety pin out of my hair and I poked holes all through it. I did this so that, I know you're young and, and this is going to be kind of gross, but I did that so that whenever... I did that so that we can make a baby. And I thought that me having you would make him stay with me. When he found out about it, I was he was flaming mad and he didn't want to have anything to do with me or anything I had. So he left me, not you. He left me because I tried to take something from him that he didn't want to give to me because I was selfish and wanted him to myself. That's what happened. That that's that's the honest truth. That's what's going on out here. The government knows this. They know it, and if they wanted to, they can stop. Nigga, if they wanted to, they can stop crime and a fucking snap of a finger. We seen them change laws overnight. If they said there is no more child support, child support is abolished. If a father or, or if a father signs away his rights, he's no longer um, responsible for ch uh, um, child support financially. When he signs away his rights, he doesn't have to pay anything. And people say that, that that's that, that's what it is now, but it, it, it's it's not. It's not. If if because it's, it's some shit where like you sign your rights away, and then she got to sign off on it and say that you don't have to support the child, and that's not taking you off. Nigga, no. Like me not having to pay child support will be me signing a piece of paper and. I don't have, I don't need no authorization from the bitch who's trying to fuck me over. I, Cause I've heard stories of guys, you know, saying, asking, you know, cause I've told them we're looking for child support reform. Also with our, you know, legislation with uh, the uh, false rape allegations, false sexual abuse and assault allegations and uh, false domestic violence accusation. I do want to help a lot of guys out by, you know, doing something about doing something about the child support also. But it's like at this point, that's what's keeping this crime on the street. These young kids that have no guidance, they're because they're born out of the exact uh, situation I just explained to you. Um, that's those are your criminals. Those are the ones breaking in houses, cars, and then eventually ending up killing somebody. State raised. That's what child support is for. Child support is what gave that girl, that nothing ass bitch, the idea that if I have a child, America is going to pay me for it. If I have a child, America is going to make sure I have a house. They're going to give me money at the end of the year. It's, there's no nigga. Earthquake just said it on his Vlad TV interview, and I was so glad when he said it. He said, my ex-wife did not, she supplemented or she substituted her fucking job. She didn't have to work. 
because I was on child support. A bitch say this the same shit that Gucci Mane baby mom was talking about. I'm about to have to move out of Section 8. I'm about to, I'm about to have to. Do you have a job, you nothing ass bitch? And like I said, it'll always be some nothing ass bitches behind them rooting that shit on because they're counting on the same fucking system. But those are the mothers. Go back, dog, go and look at the, 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 the uh, juvenile uh, facilities and the prisons and ask them, were they state raised? I'm not talking about state raises. I was, uh, I was going all the juvenile camps. I mean, and this this goes in my mind. This goes and says shit. Well, I was like, nigga, they no one's ever gave a fuck about the poor folks. So they put some in the government cheese. The shit that they give you, they put something in there so that the children would be, um, <sighs> nigga. More prone to do shit. More fucked up. More prone to being autistic. Or not even, they don't want them to be autistic so they get paid. They want them out in the street committing crimes so that they can point, so they can paint to the public that there is an issue and we have a face for it. I would like for our women to understand. That you're feeding a system, you're feeding the same system that's going to shoot your child down in the street. You're aiding the same system that's not going to be held responsible when they kill your child. Oh, how well karma works. The same way that you stole a life from that man because you wanted to be with him. And you sold your soul to the devil, which is the government. They're going to steal that same life. That same life. <laughs> they ain't that the devil. He promises you it's going to be all. I'm going I'm to grant all your wishes. But he didn't tell you about the twist in that shit. He gave you the confidence. Because if you if you thought that there was a way that the man was not, or the government was not going to, nigga, I don't give a fuck how many kids you got. You're not going no higher on this list. You're not paying those $3 a month. I'm not giving you no money at the end of the year, no extra money at the end of the year. If you don't work, you don't get shit. If that was the fucking case, you think these bitches would be scamming you, like trying to get up under your rapper like that? It would make them be accountable and responsible. Anyone can see that. So why wouldn't they do it? Isn't people eating off the system a fucking problem? So why wouldn't they kill two birds with one stone? You can knock out crime. Because the crime is coming from the kids who aren't being parented. And they're not being parented because those motherfuckers that would go down that bitch and put somebody on child support that's already on Section 8 is the same motherfucker that after she has a child, she's going out to find another fucking victim. Because she has a deal with Uncle Sam, with the fucking government. With her white daddy. She has a fucking deal with him. I'll keep going out here. And getting tagging niggas. I'll go out here and keep on giving you a reason. To put niggas in jail. You just make sure my pocket's good. You just make sure I ain't got to pay no, no rent. Just let me keep living this. Welfare queen bullshit. You got seven kids. And no job. And no man. And you got a new boyfriend. There you go. And then you want somebody to cry when your when your son gets shot down in the street, whether it be from another nothing ass bitch's child, 
or from the fucking police that you fucking or from the police that you are fucking working with. Bitch, you went down there and gave a name. You are a slave catcher. Um, um. And then now all of a sudden, this man want to get on the internet and bash my mother. Listen, you fuck ass punk. Let me tell you something. You ain't did a goddamn motherfucking thing for me my whole life. I received one gift from you that I'm sure you didn't even fucking buy. I'm sure y'all motherfucking bought it. So please, I ain't never received shit from you. My mother, my mother has done everything for me. Everything. You ain't do shit. Not a damn fucking thing. My Because your mother didn't tell you that I was giving her money for you? No, I never did nothing. And she's instilled this mindset in you to where even when you're you're giving even when I give you the truth, you're not gonna accept it. I'm out playing cop. Who taught you to disrespect my, my, my work like that? You try to cover for your mama because she's scamming the system. She stopped working because she didn't want to work no more. Not because she didn't... My Bitch, are you serious? She wanted to raise you? Do you know who the fuck you are? You're the catch me outside girl. You want us to believe that she stayed home and raised you? No, your mother is the exact, she is the nothing ass bitch that, that will raise you. She didn't tell you what your father was trying to do. She probably lied to you and told you that he was coming. Fucked it up so that he couldn't come. And that's another thing that... And, and for all, all of the mothers, the nothing ass bitches out there who would do something like that just to turn a, especially a daughter against a father, you will tell the child, listen to me. And I want the women out there to hear this. And I want the women, please be be truthful. If a nothing ass bitch tells a child that their father is coming, they haven't talked to the father, nothing. She just says it just so that the daughter or son can be mad. So this is the reason why a nothing ass bitch would do this. She sees that the, and this is before the, you know, tell they, they can get cell phones and shit like that. She does this early on, you know, to, to, to fuck with her head. So let's say she sees that, not in this situation, don't, this is a, all right, so, you know, the father, you know, is making some, some leeway with the child. He's getting some momentum with the child. So the nothing ass bitch, because she wants the child to be on her side, she's starting to notice that the child maybe is starting to open up to the father. Because she doesn't want that, she don't. She want to have somebody to fuss to be on her side. She don't want to lose her child to this man that she hates. She wants, let's both hate him. 
especially if this nothing ass bitch sees that he really loves this child. Especially with a father and daughter. A nothing ass bitch will see that they're bonding and she'll see that he has the love for that child that she always wanted him to have for her. She'll then in turn become jealous of the daughter and she'll do some shit this evil. She'll tell the child, okay, your daddy said he's gonna come this weekend. He wanna take you to Disney World. The weekend come, do you know the mama will tell the child to go outside and wait? She'll tell the child to go outside and wait on the car with her bags packed. I'm sure he's going to be here in a minute. Go out there and wait on him. He should be on the way now. He said he'll be here at 8 o'clock. Go out there and wait on him. Ladies, women, please. Things are like, is that not evil? Is that not evil? Using those type of tactics just to make the child hate the father? Because he wouldn't be with her? Because the things didn't work out like she thought they would? She wanted to be more than just somebody that he fucked late at night? So she got pregnant. Do you know how low you have to be to have a child by a man who does not want to have a child? Do you know how fucking low you have to be to do that? This man doesn't want to be a parent with you and you forcefully force him to? You forcefully co-parent with that person? Knowing how important the co-parenting is to the child's success, you make that a person who does not even want children, you make that a person who doesn't take care of the kids that he already has, you make that the father of the person you're supposed to love more than life itself, you make that their father? We got to break this thing down. This shit has to stop. It has to stop. I understand how deep and how strong of an emotion love is, but we have to stop this. Females, please, please. I'm begging you. Stop being the right hand of white supremacy. They can't get to us directly. If they don't have you, it does not work. It doesn't work. You are such a critical part of their plan. They have to keep the black man down. But in order for their... Um, um, image to work, it has to look like they're doing everything right and we're doing the shit wrong. We're the enemy because we're evil and we're fucked up. But they do that through you. You bring a black boy into this world and you cripple him 
you send him to Strickland juvenile detention centers before he's even born because you chose the father. You chose the father. That bullshit about I don't believe in abortions. I don't no. The, I don't believe in 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 birth control and make me fat. And, that time is over. We're being murdered in the street by our own kind. We're being set up by black women. We're being um nothing as bitches. We're being destroyed by police officers, and if not by police officers, then by judges. We're being attacked from all angles. My women, I, I implore you, I beg you, please hear my plea. Please. I understand how deep of an emotion love is, but and I and, and I know hate can be just as fucking real, but please. We have to use, I know you have ration, rationale. I know you have logic. You use it every day. You know what you're doing? Please. You're selling us out. You're, you're, you're sending us to slaughter just for a, a $3 rent and, and, and a, a fucking income tax check. And all, like, you're, 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 you're killing your son. Your nephew, your godson, they don't have a chance. Can you not see that the, the fucking, the very buildings that they allow you to live in for $3 a fucking month is a fucking death trap. The house that they give you for having a child, a black boy, and for putting a nigga in their system will be the very place that he dies. If not physically, but mentally. If not mentally, then spiritually. He'll scream that Ridgecrest, near, uh, down the bay, Roger Williams, Birdville, Orange Grove. He'll scream that, but that's the place that killed him. That's the place that killed his dreams. If he was given a chance, to live in uh, Yester Oaks of uh, a uh, uh, fucking, you know, the good part of Lake Forest, these suburbs. If you would just have the child after you become stable, at least so the child can see you. His father gone, all right, we know that, but he don't even get to see you because you got to work so goddamn hard. Who's raising them? That same fucking welfare section eight project is raising him. Who gave you that project? That same fucking white man that pays you, the same white man that made you, that incentivized you to have that child when you knew that you was in no shape to be taking care of a baby. But he promised you that you will be taken care of. But what about the child? Fuck the physical shit. Fuck the bullshit ass food stamps and all that shit. What about the child's mind frame? His spiritual being? What is he gonna learn in the fucking projects? How can he succeed? Why would you give him these odds? Why is it a miracle if he makes it out? To the point where... Uh, he gotta say, I love my projects. I love my apartments. Because he know he'll never be nothing more. He'll never go nowhere but there. So it's like having a tattoo. I might as well tell you I like the shit. No matter how ugly it is, I might as well tell you I like it because it's there forever. I'm never going to leave here.
why y'all putting us in these why y'all putting us in these situations? Why why would you do this to me? Why would you raise me in this place where we gotta worry about somebody coming through shooting and they might hit shoot the wrong fucking house? Why would you bring me home to a place where there's bars on the window? You say that you love me. Mama, I don't even see you. And you get mad because grandma got more say so with us than you do. But I don't I don't never see you, mama. If you ain't at work, then you out here trying to find Another man to bring another child in the house when you don't even spend no time with us. And then you surprised when you gotta come down here to 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 fucking to Dollar General uh and the security and the police got me in this back room because I was in here stealing. I ain't I ain't really even need shit, but but just maybe this will make you Pay me some attention. Ain't no love in the house. You know, my grandma love me, but my mama just too, she on the go all the time. So now I find a set. I find me a game. These niggas, at least they, they, they got love for me. They pay me some attention. They put a gun in my hand. They gave me some dope. Now the girl's starting to show me some attention. Now I'm starting to get money out here. Now you starting to pay me some attention. But the attention you paying me is you telling me I need to be putting some on rent. I'm asking y'all, I'm asking y'all to stop being selfish. If you don't, if you're not stable, meaning you don't have a home, a vehicle, and a steady form of income. And a father that's going to be there. Meaning, you don't have to sneak a child on him. Y'all can have conversations on the first date. Hey, do you want children? No, I don't want kids. I got a lot of stuff I got to do. I'm in transition right now. Okay, I do. So we'll move to the next person. If that's what you want, why not say it? Unwanted kids turn into fucking suspects. Inmates. Human collateral. Human coal that runs this system. As long as they have you to produce the human coal, they will always have a fucking face of evil. A face for crime. If it wasn't for you having these children that are unwanted because you sneak children on men who don't want them and you bring the child to term. If it wasn't for that, do you know that they would have to look and see that they're the terrorists? They're the fucking pedophiles? What crime do we commit? They're in the lead in every fucking sector. They kill people. They're serial killers. They're mass murderers. They're the pedophiles. They're the fucking uh, 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 child porn people. They're molesting kids as teachers. We will not win without you.
you may not like the way I'm delivering this, but I'm telling you what has to happen. If he does not want a child, do not have a child with him. That way you don't have to worry about him leaving you. If he wants a child as much as you want the child, as much as you do, you won't have an unwanted child. You have an unwanted child because you snuck the shit on him. Like that, I don't understand what's so hard about this shit. Even after you find a man and he says, I'm not leaving, I'm going to be here. Hey, we're planning on having our child in the, the, the summer of June 2025. Okay. Now, start working on being stable so that you don't need the same people that are killing your child to help raise your child. You don't need the grandma shit, the Tana. What a joke. They're helping you raise the same child that they're gonna fuck in the ass through in the legal system. I'm talking before you go to prison, they gonna fuck them. Give them 40 years for weed and then legalize it and let all the white boys fucking sell weed out of dispensaries. The work field is going to be uneven for him because he don't because he don't have no college ed education because he wasn't good enough in sports and that's the only way he was going to get in. No motherfucker can afford that shit. Why are we still in the same place? Why we see the trap? We see what they're doing. How are we still in the same spot after we see the play? If you're raised in the projects, you're going to prison. It's not about the choices you made or not. No. You're raised in Section 8. If you're government raised, government housing, then you're going to be government housing for the rest of your life if you're a black male. So pretty much, if you're a, if you're a female, you're gonna be a fucking breeder, or whatever you call the motherfuckers that just have the human cold. That's gonna be she's gonna be in apartment department for the rest of her life. That's if you have a little girl. Her job is gonna be catching niggas, putting them on paperwork for the government, and spitting out human cold. That's your job. Your trap is going to be the housing, the government housing we give you. This is where you trap at. You bring them here, fuck them. Come down here to the, the, the county, give us his name. Now we got him tagged. We got a warrant out for him. Spit us out that baby. Give us the baby. They give you, what, 10 years with the child, and then they start taking them to juvenile. Start taking them to fucking Strickland. Then they start taking them to the big boy fucking jail. And you just repeat the fucking cycle. How is this not being seen? Fuck this bitch. Us. Us. Our issue. Our problem. The projects. Government housing. Government aid, government assistance. They have to feed us. They have to house us. And they we get used to that. So we're 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 we shoe ins for prison. Where they feed us and they house us. How do we not see this? I'm talking to the NAV right now. I'm asking you, how do you not see this? You got a nothing ass bitch that made a fucking song about, you got your section eight, now you look at me as straight. Fat ass bitch, to my, she got a section eight, now she, you living in section eight apartments and you good now. All your kids in there. 
neighborhood so it's so good that you gotta have two fucking police officers so people know all right now be careful with selling dope up in there you're in a drug infested area and that's where you believe is a good place to raise your child because you didn't have no plan you didn't have no plan together it just happened how the fuck did it just happen bitch this is your body you have to carry the child for nine months how in the fuck did you know? Nigga can die. Nigga run the fuck off. It's going to be on you. Even if the nigga is in jail, what are you going to do? Now your anger starts going towards the child. Because you start thinking that it's the child fault that you you ain't going to be shit. Your, your, your body is down the drain. You, you cleaning up at the fucking, you just clean like a fucking slave. You either cleaning up at the hotel or wiping some white man ass. You cleaning some shit. That's your life. Day in, day out. Going to cruise. Make you feel like something. Nigga come fuck you. Then he dip the fuck off. You look in the mirror, you hate the shit. But you ain't got time to work out. You don't have time to do shit. So you fucked your life up by having that child when you were trying to fuck his life up. Bitch, you had that child just to fuck his life up. We heard the tape. We heard the recording. Bitch, I'm going to have this child. I'm, bitch, you going to die. Bitch, I'm going to have this motherfucking baby. You ain't going to do shit. And that's why I'm telling you niggas, look, it's a race... And for my ladies, there is a race of guys out here that will do nothing but pull you the fuck down. They know you a fuck about you. And that's why I tell you, if someone isn't rising, if you don't see them, if you don't see, I, I'm saying like this, if you don't see a motherfucker uh, practicing the three S's, you need to go the other way. This is what I'm telling you. This is why I tell my loved ones. If the motherfucker ain't practicing the three S's, you need to get the fuck out the way. There is a race of um, shapeshifters out here that disguise themselves as women. And they are out to do nothing but kill and destroy. And if you do not believe me, play with it and you're gonna be in my inbox in a couple fucking months talking about man damn bro and you're gonna go to the back of the fucking line uh consultations are fifty dollars an hour you know we can do the consultation but as far as you know getting giving your store some shine shit like that nigga it, it's nigga you have no idea how many motherfuckers it is let's see what the fuck else this whole time I'm really done with this whole for real. like this move on with your life I'm scared of your mother I keep bringing you up because you're my daughter and I want to get you out of there if I'm not on her mind then why in the fuck is she threatening me you don't think that your mother is a problem can you not see yourself? That's something that the nothing ass bitch clan, they master that. Like how a Shaolin monk will master 
His balance, they master having zero self-awareness. None. At all. You don't understand why he would want a restraining order against your mother. She made you like this. You just said he's never been in your life. So she alone made you this way. He fears his life for her, my mother. He fears his life for her. But but you always talk about her. Leave the damn lady alone. Yeah, this man, I think that I think that there's there's something wrong. Either he missed my mom or it's something. It it it, it can't no, it's about it's gotta be about the fame. It's really gotta be about the fame because what who what type of person does that shit? What type of person do that? You walk out on a bitch and you walk out on a bitch and a kid. And a kid at three years, three months old. You don't even say where you going. Oh, no, you, you wanna you really, really, really wanna hear what you how bad of a person he is? This is the same man who says he fears his life of my mother. My my four foot eleven mother, who I have to fight for at times because she's not even that type of a person. This, this exactly what he does, right? While she's pregnant, while she's fucking pregnant, slams her into a table, a glass table at that. Then says something along the lines of, she know because she was there. This. She's not even that kind of person. She's four foot eleven. So she that means that she can't hurt someone. Cause she's four foot eleven. Okay. They don't make guns, nothing like that, but she's four foot eleven. Okay. She's pregnant and he slammed her against the table. And you know that because we have video of it. And he, he told you that he did it. This is what a nothing ass bitch is going to create for you. This is what she gonna turn your daughter into. So it feel good fucking a hope on the back and that ass just, you know what I'm saying? Like, ass clapping back, you know what I'm saying? Like, that whole, she'll like, when you ready to bust that whole like, she can just feel like you're ready to bust. She'll go down that bitch and just catch it. And not, she ain't even gonna go fast with it. She gonna go slow and catch it. Like, oh, shit. Oh. Oh. I don't like getting here standing up. I like, I like to be actually laying down. Oh. Oh. Eek. Eek. Eagle Street. Eek. Oh, 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 no, stop, oh, stop. Uh. Just try to keep going and shit. Like, no, hold on, just stop. Now I'm starting to feel weird. Stop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no, stop. But all that shit, it feel good. It feel good. You on the ball, you know what I'm saying? You probably gonna fall asleep in this shit. You, ain't, you probably gonna be asleep for this whole going in the bathroom and spit it out. If she spit it out, bitch might swallow the shit. All of that, dog. <laughs> and even with all of that, you still want to fuck other hoes. And that's going to be what turns her into her real self. If you have that in you, then that's what the fuck you are. If... If a nigga ain't gay, he don't have that gay... Like, it's not gonna be no situation where he'll do some gay shit. It's already in him. It's in you already. So... For, for you to go into nothing-ass bitch mode to where you'll play with these kids like this, play with their mind like this, you a nothing-ass bitch. You don't play old games with life. I don't you you don't play that those games with a nigga property. You did me wrong 
motherfucking bitch. Bitch. I'm gonna come up on this motherfucker. I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna make that motherfucker regret that she played me. I'm gonna succeed. And maybe that, that's a adult way of thinking, but like, I'm not gonna go and bleach your clothes. I'm not gonna flatten your tires. I'm not trying to make. No. No. I'm going to make you regret that. I, I, dog, I, I feel good knowing that every bitch that I fuck with, I'm, I'm the nigga that, they don't have a nigga that they fuck with that's, uh, like, they, they, like, right now, like, go through all their boyfriends and I'm that nigga. Like, I'm the one. Look at they stats. Like, look at us all. Look at all they boyfriends right now. So you can see, like, who you should have chose. All your boyfriends. Look at them all right now. In, right now in this very situation. So you can see who you should have chose. I feel good knowing that I'm that nigga. I'm him. Whatever way you want to do it. Mentally. Not, maybe not. Physically, but we know that, you know, real life is real life. And I, I won't even bring up all, you know, because then we start talking money. We ain't going there. That's how you win. A bitch got to look up and say, damn. That nigga did it. And still going. Not just good with doing it. Want to do more of it. That's how you win. Burning a nigga clothes up, bleaching a nigga clothes, or, you know, cutting a bitch clothes, whatever the fuck. That shit gonna, you know what I'm saying, whatever. Stabbing a motherfucker, that shit, you know what I'm saying, they ain't gonna last. That shit gonna... Anything, you know, um, lower than death, you know what I'm saying, it's all good. Motherfucker, we'll try to burn you, though. Like, burn you, burn you really bad, like, like burn your face. So that you can't do, like, you got, and that's another thing I'm saying. Like, how the fuck can you trust anybody? Like, they'll do that type of shit. But success, and my mother always said that, success is the best revenge. So, that was another thing I let motivate me. A couple years ago, I wasn't nothing to be jealous of. Motherfuckers was cool. Motherfuckers was talking. They had, everything was all good. But now that I'm on top, motherfucker quiet, head down, you know what I'm saying? Now what to do? The nigga that you shit on, the nigga that was not supposed to do it, you hope that he don't do it because you done did so much dirt to him. Y'all motherfuckers in, in a whole county of Baldwin County. And some niggas in Mobile, bitch in Mobile too. Like, they look at it like the artists, the rappers, and, you know, niggas that maybe did some slyway hater shit and, and felt like it wasn't, ain't no big deal because fuck that nigga. Look how down bad nigga is. Bitches too. When these motherfuckers seen a nigga get to ten thousand subscribers, man, these motherfuckers, it was, it was, it was bad for them. They got to twenty thousand. Nigga heard academic shot a nigga out. Seen the fucking um, Shinya. Um, what's my man? Danny Boom. Um. J Electronica, uh, the UFC fighter, um, King Green, uh, if I ain't heard my man so long, what the fuck my man name is, um, but just like that shit, it turned motherfuckers so far down, cause it's like, damn, they never made it to where they wanted to make it in life, but they was above me. As I was on the bottom, they were working a job 
And they were good with that shit because they was above me. Niggas start rising up. Motherfuckers start. But that, that's something else. But kill them with success. If a motherfucker has to do something to you when you leave, that means they know that they're not no catch. They know they're not no catch. They know that the only thing they had going, their best chance of being anything, was being with you. That was their best chance. And that's why they got to do something like, oh, fuck. No, you don't, you don't understand like what bitches from the past... Big. I fuck, I'm just gonna say it. How they big, dog? I'm sorry. I just, uh. Ain't no, I'm sorry. Ain't no, I'm sorry. I feel like you played me like that because I was at the bottom wrong. Motherfuckers feel like they can do you a certain way when you don't have a car, when they don't think you have <laughs> somewhere to stay. You don't have no money. No one seems to be fucking with you. Nobody. You just, you know, you a nigga walking up. Now, this is a mobile. Walking the streets for the basketball. And a motherfucker feel like they can, you know, talk to you a certain kind of way. Feel like they can, you know, handle you a certain way. And then... After doing that, they don't have to apologize. You're not worthy of an apology. That's, that's one of the biggest things. If the person that you're with, male or female, the person that you're with does you wrong, know they did you wrong, come back later on in the day and just tap you like, come on, let's fuck. Don't even feel like you worth an apology. And then get mad when you mad that they didn't give you an apology. That's how you know that. Oh yeah, they they, they just they just holding their nuts all the way on my head. It's time for you to start over. But she she tried to shoot me or she something with a gun. I don't know. Said oh no oh no he did. I think he did point a gun at her head. And then he tried to say that she attacked him. Hold on. Now I don't know if maybe it's just morals or just common fucking sense but even if a pregnant lady even if a pregnant lady does attack you you won't throw them into a fucking glass table the fuck is wrong with you <laughs> Go to the Patreon. Look at the uh, the Dominique store, Dominique Williams store. No matter what a motherfucker do to you, no, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm serious about this shit. Anybody who comes forward to me with any type of situation where a Nothing ass bitch has done something to you that is an arrestable offense and you didn't call the police, don't hit me up. I don't give a fuck what it is. If a female could have uh, called the police, you call the police. If you not about that arrest game in 2020, don't 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 hit me up, my nigga. This shit this this out of control. I don't give a fuck if it was if she did attack you. I don't give a fuck what she attacked you with. How can I, how can I win with that? Like, how can I win? You're my biological daughter, but you're not, you're not, you're not of me. You're not of me. She destroyed that. Um, I'll always be here. Um, whenever you get out of this, whenever you fall off with this, this, uh, internet shit, you know, I'll be here, but for right now, I got a restraining order on you also. Don't come around me. <laughs>